Hello, everybody. See so to here. The episode 5 of Command Block Tutorials. Today's a big one. Talk about scoreboards. Um, it's going to be more of a basic overview. Probably going more advanced later on, but. Sort of basic overview of scoreboards. So, first off, when you have a scoreboard, you just have a fan slash scoreboard, you'll see two things objectives and players. We'll start with objectives because you can't really do much with players without having any objectives. So, objectives are basically like the. Overall, like the it's so the players will be like each player has a specific amount of points per the objective. The objective will store all the data for each player, so you can have like multiple players in it. Now, the five from here, this add list, modify movement, set display. Most of these are really simple. Add will add our objective list, will list the objectives you have, and remove one of the objectives. Talk about that later. Let's go to add. Now, add will. This allow you to add an objective so you can actually use the link with scoreboard. So we're gonna just call it test. The criteria is like anything you want. So you have air, armor, or death count. So death count will count will have the scoreboard for number of times you deaths. Food and health, obviously like how much food or health you have. Dummy is used by commands. Armor would be like the your armor your armor thing, if you're right it does. Killed by what team? level and then there's like anything you have in your statistics so like well, we're gonna go for dummy for now though i should go to death count for now that's it so if you go into your statistics anything in here can be used so items draft yeah and you can order items to any specific item like you can use only villager spawn eggs uh used so anything any even mobs i'm pretty sure Now, for most of them, are pretty easy to find, but one other one that's hard to find is the one thing you really statistics first page. I believe those are stat. No, nope, I don't know, huh? But yeah, see my craft used. Okay. So yeah, that's Minecraft used, Minecraft broken, now all that good stuff. So, anything in there you find, you can use it. So let's get into the objective. So, before we start using the objective, let's just create a, uh, let's make it shop on our side. So, if we could do select scoreboard, objectives, set display, and then sidebar, which should, you can see what I do, will show up on the side of the screen, and then your objective, it will be there. Now, since I don't have any data in it yet, there's not going to be nothing there. So, let's just slash kill, so two, and see, now that I died once, I now have one. And that's so I can stop doing stuff because I'm gonna tweak a lot. Game rule. Do. I'm being really dumb right now. I completely forgot. <laughs> Keep me inventory. Yeah. What? True. There. Huh. So you see, now that I've died once in the death count, it will give me a death count of one. Now, as you can guess, you can use this in the execute command, of course, to do stuff later on, which we'll go over later. Maybe in part two video, actually. So now that you can see we have one to the effect of source data. Now, we can have multiple objectives, of course. So let's do something else that's like, like a really common one that's used. For sure, test sidebar. Um, test 2. Oh, it's it's what, whoops, uh, um, yeah, let's just do, and then dummy. So dummy is basically the ones I use to fight commands. You have to use the commands to actually think stuff happen. So if we set that on display, it's close to nothing there once again, but what we can do is we can do this, scoreboard, Players. Well, first, before I do that, we should actually probably talk about scoreboard players. Scoreboard players is a, it's a lot of stuff like that. Add, enable, get, list, operation, move, reset, set. A lot of these are like, so list, of course, list all the players. Add, move, you know, basically adding, moving scores. It's a lot of what players does. So, what you can do with players is you can set, 
certain things to uh have certain scores. So if I just add previous to two commands, then I'll add what about if I, it's five. If I get a lever. Now see now five and it'll go up by five every time due to how it's doing. I don't know if I want to set it to a exact something number. I can do use set. And that will set it to 5. Which is what I would usually use for commands. Um, reset, we'll just reset it back to blank. Except I have a number there, so it won't work. <laughs> yeah. I thought, like, wait, but you haven't gotten over the list of objectives. And I'll go over them now. So, quick run through the list of objectives stuff. Modify. You can basically modify the display or render type. Render type will like it's more for like heart like in if you have it in your name thing. Like in tab if you're having like a monthly server and you're more if using for like how much health, you can set like hearts or an integer or a number. That's what that's for. So hearts, yeah. And the display name will just change the name of it, but as you can tell, it's gonna get angry at you. Cause it uses the J Sun Reader, which we'll talk about later. We'll talk about that later on when we use stuff. Or well, I've heard scoreboard teams and whatnot. Oh, anyways. Let's see scoreboard objectives and list just kind of list all the ones you have. It's pretty obvious. So that's just scoreboard players. Scoreboard players. Of course, it's more. So we talked about add, set, and reset. Remove or just remove a player. List, list player. Get. What does tell you what your data is there? Yeah. So it says I just have one in test, and if I go commands, well, I don't have any command. So I should probably set it to five. If I set it to five, then I'll say I have five. Basically, it just tells you the, how much something has. See, it says I have five. So now, that leaves just enable and operation. Enable. And you know, I'm pretty sure like enabled the use of something. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I like actually never use that, but operation. Well, basically, do an operation on what the score is. So you can like if you get more than oh, <laughs> space. <laughs> but you need like a second score, so let's divide equals previous test. Whoa, I said to zero. Wow. I did an operation. I'm so cool. This is the layer, probably or advanced. Operation, I don't really use it as much. I like to use the numbers instead, so if you can, you can use it. But I prefer just like adding or setting. I guess in some cases it could be more useful. I basically do like a math equation on it. But I'm gonna now, since it kind of goes well with school boards, there's a if and execute if there's a part about scores if score now this is a bit you think this would be really easy so you could be like oh if previous two commands equals zero but no that's not how it works you need to actually have like another player so we can add our player since we don't have any other players online we can, i mean of course we can just do something to promote another part get like another uh Objective, but we don't know. So, I guess do slash scoreboard players set um, player and then commands set to 10. So now player is at 10. So if I equals player commands, and I can run. So now nothing's when not put on uh, repeat. Always active. Now it's not gonna do anything because the score works. Because my score does not equal a player's score of ten. 
if my score of 10 would, if my score is 10, therefore it equal player, therefore it would run the command. That's just how it works. So if I set this to 10, we're not going to spam it, as you can tell. So you can see that you can do a lot of stuff with that. Basically, you can use, find out what kind of block they're under, so, whatnot. So what I can do is I can click a kill activator. So if we get two blocks, let's say redstone. Actually, let's get concrete and lime. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a red concrete and a lime concrete there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate a killing machine. So basically, we get something like a um, donkey killing machine. So it's because it's donkey. And if I go on the red, it will kill the donkey. If I go on the green, it won't kill the donkey. So what I'm doing. So wait, so too much shit. So if I go underneath the red, it'll kill all the donkeys. If I go underneath the green, it will spawn a new donkey, basically. Don we got donkey eh. So of course we need a couple of commands to do this. I didn't think I was going to be able to go through that so quickly, so actually we're doing stuff. So let's put a couple of these in here, and we're going to execute if block. Okay. Of course, you're going to find the block, but first you actually need to make it as, there's a two, at, there's a two, if block, where's the load location, and since the uh, location of a player is at their feet. We need to go up to run red concrete run. Now, of course, you have to kill donkeys, but that's so what's fun on that. Um, scoreboard players set kill commands one. Now, of course, we're gonna need to. Well, actually, we shouldn't actually need it. We have something always active, so. Let's see. I don't want to get. So I have the space there. So you can see that's saying it to one. Now, if you don't like that spamming of that, which sometimes get good, we have like a weird repeating command block. You can just do slash game rule. Do command block. Command block output false. Now when I go into there, it'll set to one that won't yell at me. Now, of course, we're also going to want to set this. So, of course, we're going to want to go in here to kill to be zero. But we're also going to want it so if not underneath, if not underneath that, we're going to uh, need it to be at zero. So if we're not underneath the red concrete, we need to be at zero. So unless... Give you another one that's unless. So you can see now it sets it to zero. Walk under here, it's now one. And of course, you need another command block. Now, of course, probably gonna organize this a lot better than I right now. Yeah, I'm gonna move this. So we get another command block that just execute. If score of kill means equals, yeah, that's not what I'm okay. <laughs> equals, but now we're gonna need something to test it. So we're gonna need another score of players. Scoreboard players set kill check commands one. This, we can basically use this to uh, test if it is. Now, of course, usually you'd probably use a separate scoreboard objective so it'll get clogged up all this, especially if you're in something just like a controller. But for now, I'm just gonna use it. In the future, you're probably just gonna use one that says numbers and just has each number and then the actual number next to it. Probably a better idea, but for now, I'll just use this. So, kill, check, commands. Run, kill, at e, t, 
type with this donkey. So now you see if I run in this, it will kill the donkey. Or not. Huh? Or it's just like, oh, I'm being stupid. I forgot to. See, not kills the donkey. So you see if I spawn the donkeys in, and I go into the red, it kills the donkeys. Oh, I feel alert. But now I want to know if I go into the green, it spawns a new one. So basically, just copy this one basically and put it over here. And this time instead of red concrete, we're gonna need lime concrete. And of course, we're not gonna want kill, we're gonna want spawn. So that's gonna make it if. So now, of course, I go in here. Oh, but one. Now we're gonna need a scoreboard players for that also. Actually, that's gonna get clogged up in the commands area. Now we have an issue because that's still at one. So of course we need to copy. Actually, so that's the one I had before. So now we're gonna need to do the unless. So if we go over here. We, yeah, we have the unless. We just need to change this to lime. And if you're wondering how I'm doing that, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before. While copying the data, if you um hit control and middle click at the same time. You can copy the NBT over. Which is basically just the data is set frozen inside. So now you can see spawn will only go one when I need lime concrete. Now of course so we'll look at any lime concrete we're gonna need. So if I go like take a hold down here and go underneath it, you'll still put spawn. So you can make multiple of them. Like multiple spots where that can happen. Now I'm going to want to spawn the donkeys. So there's like a spawning area for them. Like right here. They'll spawn here, so that northwest corner. So negative one one seven. I think that's a four. Negative one one nine. So if I add another command block. Do a scoreboard, not scoreboard, execute if score spawn commands equals spawn check commands run summon donkey negative one one seven four negative one one nine so of course it's not equal one but when i go under here i try to put it on always active like a stupid person it now spawns donkeys and if i go under the thread it kills donkeys because this is the use of scoreboards of course you can just you don't have to use the scoreboards for that but that's one thing you can actually, I believe you can just use execute for that, but pff, who cares. Uh. That basically like a quick overview of scoreboards and how they can be used. To set values using execute commands, and you can check with other execute commands to see if the values are match. But like, wait, can you use execute? And yes, you could just use execute on a scoreboard at all, but when it comes to more data, time to check it up, it's kind of hard to just do it all with execute. You will need to actually set it to use scoreboards. So that's all for now. A little spawning killer, a donkey machine. And I'll see you next time.